Hi, Sat here. So I have some amazing news. But before I tell you that, as you can see, we get the final piece of this puzzle down, which is the cat moving animation as well as everything else. So wherever you tap, the cat will move there and you'll see that animated too. So the amazing news is like you guys have been so supportive. I'm, I'm incredibly appreciative of that. And because of that, uh, myself and another programmer, Carl, who's got a wealth of knowledge as well, uh, we're teaming up together to bring you a more in-depth, much more fun AR course. And I'm going to give you a teaser of that right now. So you'll have stuff like exploding ships and turrets setting up, uh, as well as expanding this course into a whole pet uh, course where you can buy items for your pet. You even have like cool, quirky things like a, a laser pointer that the, the cat will chase after. And, and other stuff like adding more detail like shadows and stuff in AR Core. And that's so there's a lot of stuff we're going to add on to it. And I want you guys to let me know, let me and Carl know what else you'd like to learn when regards to AR Core and maybe even AR Kit. So leave a comment below. Um, tell us those extra things. We've had a few people leave comments. So we'll take those all on board. And I hope you'll support us with this course. Um, because it's been really fun. It's been, I've really enjoyed it, and um, I'm, I think um, it's really down to you guys and, and, the, and the great positive attitude you guys have had and the nice things you've been saying. It's encouraging me. I think I would have probably stopped in the first tutorial. So thank you for that. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, before I go any further, the code for all of this tutorial is below in the uh, description. So um, yeah, on to, on to the tutorial. What we want to do is add in a running animation every time our character is it's running. So we're going to go to our model and we're going to select the run animation that we already have. It's pre-built, which is great. And we're going to pop that into our animator. So now we have the ability to select this run, anima uh, run animation. Um, but before we do that, this run animation needs to be looped. Uh, at the moment, it's actually not going to loop, so it will run, and then as soon as it stop, it'll it'll just end up like that. Now, if I hit play, you'll notice it's actually already looping in this in this um, this little display. But that that's that's just showing you what the animation looks like. We know it's not looping because if I click on run here, the loop time and the loop pose is not have not been selected. So I'm going to hit those and hit apply. So that's going to make those a loop, that's going to make that a looping animation. I'm also going to just while I'm here, you can see that loop time loop pose is not set for animation A and B. I'm going to hit back on uh, the cat light and select idle A, and I'm going to loop that as well. And I'm also going to loop idle B. Now it's not 100% necessary this step since we're actually looping them ourselves here we, we did that before which was a good move but I'm going to do that just in case in the future um, I know if I split these up I, I don't want to come across any issues where the animation just stops midway okay anyway so now we've done that let's make a transition from this idle A to run and idle B to run as well um, that's good and we also don't want this animation to have an exit time. If we have an exit time, what happens is it will wait for the animation to finish. Then it will start the run. And we don't want that. We want it to, we want the animation to start immediately. So I'm going to remove that. And as you can see, the animation, um, well, the animation will start from around here now. So it will just immediately start running, which is much better. So, um, I'm going to remove that as well for both of them. So now it doesn't matter. The reason I've done it from both of them is it doesn't matter which state animation state we're in. It will always go straight to run once we trigger them. Now we don't have anything here yet to trigger that. So let's add a bool and let's change this to is running. So what this is going to do is this is going to be checking at all times for is running. And if running is on true, then they then something's going to happen. That's what we want. So what do we want to happen if the running is true? Well, what we want is um, on these transitions here from idle A to run, we want to set this 
we want to set a condition here using this boolean that we just created for is running is true. So now if is running is true, idle a will transition to run. And let's do the same here. Let's click on this little transition here and change the condition. Is running is true. Great. So that's almost done. The only thing we need to do now is have a condition. So if running is false, we want to go from running to something else. So I'm going to say if running goes to idle B. It could be it could be idle A or idle B, but I'm just going to go with idle B. And I'm going to say is running is false. So when it's no lo no longer running, we want it to go back into the idle animation. So that is probably all we need to do here for the animation state. Now what we want to do is update our cat move. Um, so that when it's running, when it start move triggers, we want to start running, and when it's close to the um, destination, we want to change that animation back to an idle, change that boolean, what we, what we set here, which is a good idea, to a false. So let's first of all let's grab hold of our animator, um, and to do that we'll create a private animator anim uh, let's just make that more clear let's call it a cat anim um, and then we're going to say at the beginning of our anim uh, at the start of our code we're going to do cat anim is equal to get component animator so now as soon as I animate as our script starts off we'll grab that animator here will have access to it now we can start changing that boolean value here so at the start of our animation we want to say you know what let's set that bool to set that bool is running to true uh, have i got the spelling right for that let's check is running is that capital i yes it is good so now cat anim is running is true as soon as we we set a trigger the cat will start running because the animation is set here and it doesn't matter which which idle animation they're in the cat is in it will start running but then we want to do something where we want to stop that animation as well uh, so to do that we want to say if the destination is close by uh, so if the journey length is you know less than uh, 0.1 really then then we want to get that to uh, to um, well then it's really close to this right next to the end so right next to this destination so there's no need for us to keep running the running animation we want to change it to another animation journey length isn't actually updating though so because we set it at the start and we don't update it again um, um, until we get kind of until we we just we just constantly moving towards it. So what we want to do is we want to just get this this um, distance vector here, and we want to do another line of code, and we're just going to do this. So this is constantly checking our distance now, and it's saying if the distance is less than 0 0.1, so super close to it, then we want to set our animate uh, our cat anim cat anim dot set bool is running false All right so now if this should work um, let's have a look in the console maybe there's an error uh, I think this is some previous stuff so let's okay it looks okay so I'm gonna try and build this and then we can see it running on the device. So the cat has been placed down. Let's get it to run over here. There we go. Got a little run animation. It stopped, which is good. Perfect. That looks all right, actually. Looks... There you go. That's actually working really well. Let's let's get in... That's my finger, by the way. Anyway, let's get in... Let's see if we can get the cat running right towards me. moving around, um, a little pet simulator for you. You'll notice also actually, if I click close to it, 
the distance is, is, is less than 0.1, so it won't actually do the running animation there, which is, in my opinion, that's that's fine. You can tweak that if you like, but uh, from, for now, I think this is a, a good enough little first step on creating an AR core uh, pet simulator. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like, a comment, uh, please subscribe. Um, and there you go, hope you like that.